Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Mark Simmons here at Badger TV. We're at Iron Mike, being held like some monkeys usual, and paying in prospects at James. And next to me is Big Verge, Virgil, all the way from England, down here to nice it up for Bajans. He's British, but he's got Bajan roots, so he's doing it UK Bajan style. It's fantastic. Virgil, how's it like in Barbados? Fantastic, actually. I've been here since April, and... Uh... It's a pleasure, really, because I've spent all of my life in England, 42 years of age now, and kind of got to the, the juncture in my life where it was like, you know what, this is not my home. I need to find my roots and come back to my home, my parentage, my mother. Um, rest in peace, God rest her soul. Um, it's from St. Philip, from Duncan's in St. Philip. My father's from Ashbury in St. George. What brought you to rhythm poetry and so on? Were you always into that? Um, no, actually. It... it Basically, my story is quite a long one, but to, to simplify it, uh, father left when he found out that my mum was very, very unwell, had multiple sclerosis. Uh, I looked after her for pretty much uh, 16 years to her death. Upon her death, having gone through, I, I guess, that level of emotional pain, I found that the best way for me to vent was to write. And then from there, I've been very, very fortunate to have some really great people around me who have been very supportive of my cause. Uh, and then it, then it transformed into spoken word, and here I am. Awesome. Now tell me, The Dark Knight, yeah. is, is, is that typical of the kind of writing you do, or, or is that a different piece? Uh, how, do, how do you focus? What exactly do you like to write about the most? Um, I am very much uh, uh, what I would define and what many of the American sort of conscious rappers would define themselves as being social documentarians. I am the Dark Knight of a different We so far try and learn our ancestors' rhymes. Rhymes designed like spiky webs, so that's the case. You bring this dress up, they should get home sleeping in the beds. No friend of friends is what they friends those gangsters they can deal in death. A hero who slows the shot and blows the hell back man upon their toes. Yes, I work at my own when I rise. It's time for guys to recognize their joint designs become the line. And this dark night shines like starlight. Because my vibe is down with right and down with wrong. When wrong belongs inside the strong, you don't prolong the use of wrong. Hammering jaws, but I need four. My style of war is literally pure, but like my claws to catch a sword. Did you catch that wrong? Because that was wrong. In essence, the kind of things that I write about tend to be more um, socially driven. The reason that I wrote the Dark Knight piece, funnily enough, was due to DJ Simmons who had asked me to go to the Animcon promo um, and do something related to, obviously, superheroes and the whole comic book um, fanzine type of thing. And I've never really written anything like that. So it's quite interesting to hear you talk about uh, the fact that the channel was devoted to Beijing culture because this is truly a... Right now, I'm poor time more support before I draw my cards of war and buckle my heads like Beavis' friend. See, when nights are dark, I hear the heart of those who try to fight with Star Tony, of course, and I'm down with the war when I'm venturing for sure. But justice is the league I'm in. We have to do, not when things go. No calling for the thing when we do clock on it, because we stand together, virtually forever, but me and Clemens, I don't get tired or spies I stand up, because I want to find my to be down but whatever. To me, I was seven, as if my name was Floyd Mayweather. Pugilistic endeavors that create pressure and inflict pain that defeats the insane. Then ain't got games, I'm messing the spread and my brain retains. Personal pain. Lost that. Remains. Not able to refrain from doing what's wrong because it feels so strong. The world to fight, the world to die. For what I believe. So you were doing rhythm poetry and open mic sessions in England as well. Tell us about the scene there. I would say that the the issue there is probably not dissimilar to Barbados. That. Uh, the, the, the moment that poetry becomes more than entertainment, the moment it becomes edutainment in the sense that you are you're opening hopefully people's eyes to things that perhaps they would quite happily drift through life having a closeted view of, it becomes something that they don't want to promote. So I struggle with getting um, any kind of notoriety or coverage in the UK purely because my material is, I guess many would say, very contentious. In my heart, to be right. Meantime, on the side, the girls need to fly, trying to get time to roll with the dark, right? But me, like I say, I'm a different type who boots like suits. 
when them bodies go to touch. Yes, no, he said, no, he said, once I hit the top of this, he also had to go. A kryptonite type flow. The proof that my clothes makes the ladies want to roll. And like I said before, I'm a different type of man whose essence is to fight. Fight the crimes of criminal minds who lost the strikes that resign to miss the signs they see the light. The light that shines on nights like high. Who stand for war, the being lords of war. We stand for a cause that says to you all, we can do more than we all know because of crimes that take innocent lives. Yes, I'm that guy. Who has no time for nonsense fights or joining trials because my life has a singular vibe. How did you feel being at home, being in a secondary school with lots of youngsters? How did that whole vibe feel to you? It was really, I feel truly humbled to be honest with you because I've always wanted to touch the, the, the minds of young people, the next generation, and to get to do it first and foremost here um, is, is almost like a dream come true really for me. Oh, so it was great. It was really great. Awesome. Now you're back in Barbados, already right, here in Barbados, the new step in your life. You're going forward. What are the plans over the next year? Where do you see yourself, where do you see yourself in a year from now? Very interesting question. I've, I've, I've been, I, I guess at the moment, because of the way that I'm seeing that, that um, the arts in general in Barbados are working, I would like to see myself as being someone that would, in a year's time, be in a position in this island that when people hear that Verge is, is performing with the likes of Adrian Green, the likes of Lamar Coward, that we can get a massive audience of Betas and not just the so-called... Um, intellectual, you know, Vegas. We want to touch, or my vision would be to touch as many of the people in Barbados who are actually suffering from a lack of inspiration, um, certainly from government level right the way down. So I would like to see myself being connected with groups like the NCF. Um, I would like to think that they would want to embrace individuals like me purely for the fact that it's no longer just spoken word that you're getting from this island. You're getting spoken word from an individual who has heritage from this island, but has a much bigger perspective of, of what it is that I'm speaking about. So that would hopefully be where I would be in a year's time, hopefully. Well, fantastic, Virgil. For Badger TV, this is Big Verge. We're looking forward to great things coming up in the future. The show continues here at Iron Mike. Get ready, Badger Nation. More solid rhythms, solid poets, conscious minds coming straight to you. Out.